Hey everyone, I'm Julia here at Finishing Technologies. Gema offers lots of different spray nozzles which affect your powder spray in different ways. Today, we're going through those options. To help visualize, we'll show you what the resulting powder spray looks like for a comparison. Some nozzles require that you also swap out the retainer sleeve for better nozzle support, depending on the size. I should further note, nozzles which attach to a Gema gun extension can be different, so make sure you're choosing the right style for your situation, and call us if you need any help. Let's start with the Flat Jet Nozzle Series. Here is a typical powder spray fan for the most common nozzle size, the NF20 the standard nozzle which is included with new systems. This one is great for most profiles and flat parts. Here's the pattern spray for the NF21 nozzle. This is a good one for complex profiles with an increased powder velocity for parts which have depressions and contours. The NF22 nozzle is also great for complex parts especially those with deeper recesses due to the nozzle's high powder velocity. For large, mostly flat surfaces, here's the resulting pattern with the NF24 nozzle. The NF27 nozzle has a slight bow tie pattern to it, which results in a more uniform pattern. Excellent for profiles and flat parts. The NF40 nozzle is for those OptiFlex Pro users, a very wide pattern for use with the Pro model's power boost feature for fast coverage on large parts. The NF20, the NF25, and the NF27 nozzles can also add an accessory called the multi-spray adapter. This accessory fastens to the end of the nozzle and adds the convenient ability to tweak your spray pattern on the fly. Just attach and twist. It gives you three patterns in one. The first is unobstructed, offering the full pattern of the nozzle you're using. Give the adapter a twist to tighten the pattern down to about half. One more twist cinches it down to roughly a quarter of the full pattern. The multi-spray adapter works best with nozzles which exhibit no wear. A very convenient and simple accessory for those spraying different parts which might change in size or contour. Now let's talk about the round jet nozzle, the NS04. I should note that using this one requires a change out of the electrode holder as well. The round jet nozzle and accompanying deflectors are often used for round parts, screen material, and expanded metal. Attached powder deflectors can increase the powder cloud for larger powder distribution. Deflectors also reduce the powder velocity, which decreases the distance from which you must spray and also slows down production speed a bit. And since there is very little powder velocity, it doesn't blow the powder off your substrate. This change in velocity also increases the electrostatic charge, so with certain powders or substrates, you may achieve a better film build, improve uniformity, and help better control the size and coverage of the powder cloud. Experimentation is the best way to determine what is best for your particular case. Nozzles and deflectors are a fairly inexpensive way to experiment, and Gima's gun design makes it easy to swap them out and change equipment settings if needed. And we're here to help. All of our contact information is on your screen. Please let us know how we can help improve your powder spraying operation and if you have any questions. So there you have a rundown of the different nozzle setups available for your Gema OptiFlex powder system. All relevant links are in the description below. And I'm so glad you could tune in today and I hope this overview has been helpful. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one.